It's time to make our thumbs a little greener. On today's episode of Wisconsin Water Garden, you can see some flocks that I have right here that are a little bit past their prime. And today I'm gonna to show you what you guys should be doing with those after they've pretty much completed flowering right at the main head here. If we look down lower on the plant, you can see they have these side shoots. Right there's a side shoot. Down below here's a flowering side shoot. And then right here's a little one that's starting to flower as well. Um, so really today I want to encourage you guys to deadhead your flocks after they've flowered. Simply take your clippers or shears and chop off the top bouquet of flowers. And that way this will encourage all the growth of the plant and the energy. We, we talk about energy a lot on this channel and that just means, you know, all of the nutrients and all of the force that the plant has uh, going out to growth is going to be redirected from, you know, going to seed up at that top bouquet of flowers down uh, to these instead. So that way you can encourage it to produce some more flower sets, which is good for um, the look of your garden. And then it is also very beneficial to pollinators. So, get, so they get the, uh, the late season pollen that they need in order to really stock up in preparation for the fall and winter season. So that's it. It's really, really simple. Deadhead your flocks. Whenever you see your flower is about to go. Just like the same thing with these ones here, I'm gonna deadhead them because all the flower petals are just about totally dried up. And then we can see some more beautiful blooms come out of it for the rest of the season. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you all a happy gardening adventure. See you in the next video.